Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good morning, Liz. How are you? I am well. How are you? I'm fine. I want my audience to know that Liz Loza, she's here to ensure our fantasy football team is ready to win before your favorite player hits the gridiron. All right. I'm in education in fantasy football every season. All right. Go ahead. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so really simple. The first thing to do is go to yahoofantasyfootball.com, sign up for a league, get eight to 12 of your buddies together, Draft a team. It's like choose your own adventure for the NFL fan. You can draft Dak, Dak Prescott if you want. I don't think it's a bad idea, frankly. And he's a guy who's super cheap. I know you and Dallas are going to enjoy that pick. Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott, by the way, stud running back. Things are not looking as bad as they did in Dallas like a day or so ago. But anyway, back to fantasy football. I'll talk, I'll talk <laughs> Dallas Cowboys with you in a minute. Go to fit, yahoofantasyfootball.com, draft your team, and then you go head-to-head -head with your different opponents week-to-week. -week. By week 16, someone is named champion and uh, has bragging rights forever, basically. Okay, my question is, so support, suppose Dak wins on my fantasy football team. Is that because he wins in the real game? Well, sometimes a player can lose the game, but but win at your fantasy, meaning meaning they're getting you a lot of points. So a team that doesn't have a particularly good defense and might need to throw a lot. Hello, Dallas. I don't think they're going to throw a lot though, but because they've you know got this amazing offensive line and Ezekiel Elliott and a young quarterback. But if a team has a bad defense, and they need to throw a lot to keep up, they may not win the game, but your quarterback is racking up a ton of points, which is what you want in fantasy because your point total is what helps you win the head-to-head -head matchup. So do you go around the world just educating us uneducated football players? <laughs> well, I don't know if I go around <laughs> the world. If you want to talk to Yahoo about sending me around the world, I am more than interested in doing that. But basically, I write articles, do videos, and a weekly live football show called Fantasy Football Live. We're going into our 11th season, and that airs every Sunday, an hour and a half before kickoff. Myself and the rest of the Yahoo Fantasy crew um, do overs and unders. We talk a little daily fantasy, and we take user tweet questions and user phone calls to help you manage those tough start sit dis decisions rather start sit decisions and take advantage of the matchups that'll keep your team winning okay are you guys listening because i'm going to start following liz so i can be smarter and brighter the next time she comes on so you guys might want to follow her too because i saw your facebook post some of you guys know as little as i know about fantasy football let me ask you, what is the hype about fantasy football? Is it only during football season, or do people do it all year long? Well, you can only play fantasy football where there, while there are real-life games going on, but you can certainly do your research during the offseason, during the NFL draft. That's where you learn about players like Ezekiel Elliott and Dak Prescott. Or, you know, during OTAs in June and minicap, because you want to keep track of those players. You want to keep track of injuries so that you can assemble your dream team. And that is what makes the hype so fun, because this is your own team. You get to play Jerry Jones. I mean, who doesn't want to be Jerry Jones for a day, let alone a season, right? And it also helps you keep in touch with those friends who are across the country. Maybe even, you know, I got a note from a grandmother who was living in Houston telling me that she joined a fantasy football team so that she can keep in touch with her grandson who was living in Florida. And she also said that she did pretty well because she took my advice. So I thought that was even more reason <laughs> to play fantasy football. Well, you're perfect for this job. You're enthusiastic. You're on it. You're smart. I like that. I'm, I'm going to follow because, because of you. 
Well, thank you, Val, dear. I appreciate that. Okay, so if my audience wants to follow, once again, tell them how to follow because maybe they're not, you know, as savvy as they need to be about fantasy football. Sure, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me personally at Liz Loza underscore FF. That's L-I-Z-L-O-Z-A underscore FF, and I'd be happy to answer any of your start-sit questions. If you want to play and get advice from not just me, but our entire Yahoo Fantasy crew and become a real expert in a short amount of time, go to yahoofantasyfootball.com, sign up for a league, and dig in. I'm going to be the, the bell of the next football uh, This gathering. one, Val, dear. Don't wait a year. You're going to get it this year. Thank you. I got it. Thank <laughs> you, Liz Rosa. Thank you so much. Please come back and talk about fantasy football. Will My do. new most favorite thing. Thank you.